now on that announced framework involving a bipartisan response to last month's mass shootings. The proposal falls far short of tougher step steps that are long sought by President Biden and many Democrats. Jessica Levinson from the Loyola Law School spoke to us about the deal on gun control and what it could mean moving forward. All right, Jessica, I mean, this is a big step forward with the news today on this possible gun legislation being passed. I mean, the president, he said that it would be the most significant gun safety legislation uh, to pass Congress in decades. Which basically means it would be gun control legislation, but significant legislation, I'm not sure. It doesn't come close to what President Biden wanted when he said, let's really do something about it. We're not banning assault rifles. We're not uh, increasing the age to buy assault rifles. We're not really addressing ghost guns. We are addressing background checks, but not to the extent that he wanted. We're not addressing um, whether or not you can sue gun manufacturers and the immunity that they have. So there are a lot of big issues that are just left on the table. This is kind of, yes, we're doing something, but it's lowest common denominator doing something. I guess the fact that it has been decades since anything like this has has been agreed upon between a, a group of bipartisan senators. And let me um, ask you then, what does this agreement lay out? I saw that it mentioned mental health, uh, school safety, steps. We do see a lot in here. So there's increased background check, particularly increased when it comes to juvenile records. There's increased red flag warning. There's more money to local communities when it comes to red flags, when it comes to mental health. And so we do see the federal government deciding to pour money into communities. Again, we see that more robust mental health counseling, which is, I think, how you get some bipartisan support. We also see slightly more robust background checks, but not as aggressive as what Democrats would want. So we see what, frankly, I think in another country would be much less than uh, would be achieved. Do you think this will then get the support that it needs? The president saying there is no time to waste. This should pass. Will it? I think it will because you have the support of at least 10 Republican senators, and that's really what you need. We all know that the name of the game is to count to 60, and it looks like based on this particular compromise, you can count to 60. Again, it's a big deal just because we haven't had any legislation that looks like it has a chance of passing, um, not necessarily because this is huge blockbuster legislation that's what Democrats want. Well, the four, four main Senate negotiators, Senator Chris Murphy of Connecticut, you also have Arizona Senator Kirsten Sinema, Texas Senator John Cornyn, and North Carolina Senator Tom Tillis, they were all in talks all weekend to hammer out the final details. And they've also been in discussions with a larger 